Six with a leak of evidence in the Delphi murder trial. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Donaldson. I'm Debbie Knox. A joint investigation by CBS4 and the Murder Sheet podcast revealed leaked evidence in the upcoming trial of Richard Allen, allegedly coming from the defense. CBS4's Russ McQuaid joins us now with the court's response and an expert opinion on what this means in the case. Good evening, Russ. And good evening, Debbie. It's been more than six and a half years since Abby Williams and Libby German were found dead near the banks of Deer Creek on the outskirts of Delphi, not far from the Monon High Bridge, and a year since investigators locked up and charged Richard Allen for their killings. Thus far, this case has had many surprising and troubling twists, and what we uncovered this past weekend was truly a shocker. Richard Allen is still an innocent man, never convicted, though housed in a maximum security prison awaiting trial for what happened near the Monon High Bridge in February of 2017 to 13-year-old Abby Williams and 14-year-old Libby German. From the start, the Delphi murders mystery has been obsessed over in social media. It's out of control out there, unfortunately. Now crime scene evidence that belonged to Allen's defense team, specifically attorney Andrew Baldwin, has found its way from a leak through a Baldwin associate to a social media poster who passed it on to other Delphi case followers. Yeah, it's just, it's a mess. Judge Fran Gull has called for a hearing for Thursday in her Fort Wayne courtroom to consider, quote, matters which have recently arisen. Well, I think it's extremely concerning for all parties involved. Accusations and counter theories have flown back and forth between the defense and Carroll County Prosecutor Nicholas McLeland over the last month. And while they've been professional, a public defender not affiliated with this case now says in wake of this leak, all sides might wonder if they can trust each other. I think it makes things more problematic um, I, than previously. And that leaves the composition of Allen's defense team and his January 8th trial date uncertain. I think most likely what's to happen is essentially an admonishment. But Judge Gall could fire the defense team if she finds its conduct during the leak to be egregious. I would find that also to be problematic. I mean, essentially, you're cutting off your nose to spite your face. I mean, you're, you're resetting the case. Defense attorney Andrew Baldwin could need a lawyer of his own to represent him before the judge Thursday. Tippecanoe County Public Defender Shea Hughes says he respects Baldwin and doubts that he would knowingly participate in such a leak. Meanwhile, investigators became aware last week that one of the people who tar tar participated in the leaking of the evidence from the defense team died unexpectedly. Bob and Debbie.